Hello and welcome to my F122 driver career mode. Here today for Imola for round three of season two for our first sprint weekend of the season. We are driving for Aston Martin after moving from Alpine last season. So coming into qualifying then and there was rain expected as you can see on the screen right now. Track was still dry at the start and towards the end very very wet indeed and DRS being disabled and should not improve on a lap this actually reminded me of the Belgium Grand Prix qualifying when it was wet and that started running right at the start similar conditions and I decided to try a set on the inters because that seemed to work in Spa people started to say quicker lap times but anyway let's go to the first sprint of the season welcome to today's sprint this is shaping up to be another fantastic weekend Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's sprint. World champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position, and Robert Schwartzman completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Perez, Kevin Magnussen, and Russell, Fernando Alonso, Latifi, Ricardo, and Charles Leclerc, Norris, Stroll, Sir Lewis Hamilton, and Ocon. Sonoda, Brown, Guan Yu Zhou, and Alex Alban, Gasly, and Mick Schumacher. Which of these drivers will get pole position today? We will soon find out. Here we go then to the race. Schwarzman second, Latifi, somehow eighth. And it's lights out, and away we go for the sprint. For Stapp, it looks like this beat and Schwarzman off the line. And we. I'm just going to try and send it into the first corner. Very long run down to the first corner, of course. As we are going to send it around the outside. Should we gain many places, though? But now we're side by side, as you see, for stopping these from Schwarzman from Paris. As we go wheel to wheel with the AlphaTauri. We send it down the inside of Lewis Hamilton. Now, though, send it again on Lando Norris. As you can see, Lance has fallen us through as well as we have just actually gone for it but there's Lando trying to come back at us we are around the outside we go trundling through the gravel nearly and we are up into P11 very very good start as this is Latifi up ahead of us battling Daniel Ricciardo for the one and only point in the sprint and Ricciardo's done him around the outside and behind him, Charles Leclerc, who needs to do something good to get himself back into contention for tomorrow's race, is round the outside of where he crashed in real life on Daniel, on Nicholas Latifi. I tried to make it free wide, but couldn't. And Latifi is coming back at the Ferrari for into the final two corners. Tries to go round the outside. I tried to stick my nose up the inside into the final corner but couldn't and Lando is going to have another look at us possibly we've dropped back but Nicholas Latifi are you ready for him to send it back round the outside of the Ferrari never will we see anything like that ever again so watch it and drink it in as we had to defend off Lewis Hamilton and Lando Norris. Lewis Hamilton just wheel to wheel now. He's got Lando. And now he's trying to get the AlphaTauri of Esteban Ocon. And he's side by side with the AlphaTauri. Who's going to get the traction? Ocon has the DRS. And it looks like Hamilton may end up being swamped there. He's got Ocon. Ocon's got him. Lando's got him. And now there's uh, Lancelot trying to go around the outside. But Lewis Hamilton just about stays ahead of him but he's still lost the position then kept, keeps Lando behind and now we are getting it up by the Frenchman and now Lewis is going to try and come back at us around the outside 
and when it looked like you were going so well, I hate to say it, but we fell back from Nicholas Latifi, round the outside, goes Lando Norris, and now, I think we pushed way too hard, way too soon, and the tyre just fell off the cliff, and we were just getting mugged, left, right, and centre, as there's Lance going through, because there's a bit of tension there after what happened last time out in Australia when I wiped him out. And behind us now is Joe Guanyu, who's just going to send it down the inside of us. And you can see how quickly we are going backwards here. Here is Yuki Tsunoda in his Albin, straight round the outside. Albon now sweeps past us as well. And we just get mugged left, right, centre. You can see as well, right to the bottom of the timing tower, something has happened to Carlos Sainz. I don't know what, but he's down in last place. Side by side though, there is Mick Schumacher fighting Pierre Gasly for the wooden spoon. As we are just staying ahead. We had such a good start, we gained so many positions as we have a massive tank slapper there. And that's going to leave us vulnerable to the German driver who we always see him to end up battling in these Grand Prix in this career mode and now here is Pierre Gasly and very quickly we've gone from near the top 8 for points right down to the back and it wouldn't be long before Carlos Sainz catches us we go wide again there and the Ferrari sweeps past us not even a chance at defending that after we went wide and he is up into P19 and he's got a race to do tomorrow but that's the, that's the end of the sprint Verstappen comes home to win the sprint just like he did in real life and that's his first win of the season actually you can count that George comes home for P2 Perez P3 we're starting last Let's get Welcome into the race. To the Autodroma Internationale Enzo and Dino Ferrari. The clue is in the name. This is very much Ferrari home turf, and the locals will be out in force today to support their team in what we hope will be a magnificent spectacle of motorsport. On then to the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. 3.1 miles of track at Imola featuring 19 turns, 9 to the right and 10 to the left. Remember that Imola differs from most other Formula 1 tracks as it's driven anti-clockwise. Let's hope nobody forgets that today. The exit from turn 18 will probably be the setup for many of today's overtakes, leading as it does into the longest straight on the circuit and it's only DRS zone. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And starting next to them is George Russell. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Perez, Fernando Alonso, Robert Schwartzman, and Magnussen, Ricardo, Leclerc, Hamilton, and Esteban Ocon, Norris, Stroll, Yuki Tsunoda, and Joe, Albert, Gasly, Mick Schumacher, and Carlos Sainz, Latifi, and Brown. It's almost time for the lights to go out. So let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. With the Grand Prix nearly upon us, Anthony Davidson is by my side once again to offer his perspective. Now, I want to ask you about Lewis Hamilton. That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? There are never any guarantees in this business, but certainly the performance last time out would have boosted their confidence coming into this one. So I decided to take a whole new engine because why not, we were starting last and the penalty wasn't really going to affect anything but let's go then to the Grand Prix in Imola and it's lights out and away we go and Max Verstappen v George Russell down into turn 1 we just need to do what we did yesterday in the sprint and just absolutely send it and that is exactly what we're going to do down the inside, there's nearly contact though Gone down with Ming Schumacher. Joey Guanyu has been forced off and trudging, trudging through the gravel. And we've sent him, we've been very aggressive. And now there's Verstappen and George side by side, and Verstappen keeps the lead as everyone jostling for positions. We're side by side with Lance again. And we've got a pass stroll again, and now ahead of us is Yuki Sonoda. And we're doing exactly what we did in the sprint. As they're side by side, Ocon and Sonoda. 
round the outside and we are going to do the same round the outside the face of our for maybe a bit dodgy just a tiny bit off the track but never mind we got that position but we didn't have the pace and our gun did after a few laps start to jump back out as you can see he there go through and he's gone straight on Esteban Ocon has gone straight on there was no contact there whatsoever you saw that he's just locked up and gone straight on and now here comes Serlat to look passing us because we still don't want to be too aggressive because things are still quite heated from Australia as now Mick Schumacher comes back at us and in the background you can see Sight 2 just like real life has had an absolute shocker of a weekend in Imola as we defend off Mick Schumacher but he's coming back at us we were just about staying ahead of his Mick Schumacher locks up and goes wide and he's lost out there too to Carlos Sight and now Sight is coming back at us coming at us like he was in the sprint there's yellow flags ahead and side by side he has to back out of it now heading down Perez has dropped back maybe he was a yellow flag dropped back maybe he was a yellow flag he's now through there's there's again this um, Gasly going wheel to wheel with Alex Albon he's now we've managed to get on the back of Lance Stroll again and just like we did in Jeddah, we sat there, he was towing us along, but you, the tyres started to come back to us, so we're not messing about. That time is clean, and we get past Lance Stroll. And now can we get up to the back of Yuki Sonoda? But no, because Stroll is coming back at us, and the boss is probably watching this through his fingers. But Stroll does re-overtake us, it was worth it while it lasted. Skipping on that to lap 12, this is Robert Sportsman ahead of this field and he's locked up and goes straight on and there's nearly contact there between us and Schwartzman. He like us as drop by the stone, he also nearly made contact with Lance as well. You can see that there and then we had to break very suddenly to try and get the position did not hit the back of him and then I tried to go around the outside but I couldn't and then I couldn't really get anywhere near um, the Alpha Romeo driver as we make our pit stop on lap 16 and we're going to go on to the hard tyres for the one stop strategy we managed to time it perfectly I'm getting used to that now it's been a while but we finally finally got my head round it as we come out of the pits and I can we get past it is Mick Schumacher who of course was behind us and Mick Schumacher is going to come out side by side with us as Mick Schumacher was trying to warm up his tyres he came under fire from Joe it's down the inside he sends it and gets a position on Mick Schumacher he had his tyres up to temperature and now Mick Schumacher is going to come back at him side by side into the first corner around the outside the side by side this is allowing us to get away and make Schumacher re-overtakes the Chinese driver he's now through the chicane Mick Schumacher's dropped it just like Charles Leclerc did through the really tight chicane drops it lights up the rear tyres and that is taking him out to this race Joe Guan Yu now coming at us as he gets past us though has the DRS we tried to defend to the inside but now we're too far back because these hard tyres were absolutely dreadful as now we come under fire from Esteban Ocon side by side we go through that chicane and we just about stay ahead of him but these, we had no pace on the hard tyres you can see that as we run wide and now this is going to leave us run vulnerable yet again to Esteban Ocon and he absolutely blitzes us and just like we did in the sprint good start and then drop like an absolute stone this is a weekend very much to forget here 
And he's now Mitch Schumacher is re caught as Omari spun. Tries to go down the inside, but we defend. Round the outside, but we get an awful, awful exit. And Mitch Schumacher is through. Now, this Lewis Hamilton, this back at the front, is Mercedes 1 2. They're on for the best result. Heading down into first corner. Oh, Mercedes were on for their best result. The seven time world champion has made an uncharacteristic mistake and locked up and gone straight on at the first corner. There's now Charles Leclerc on for P2 and he's pulling over. He's pulling over to the side of the track and he's out of the Grand Prix. And this is George Russell onto the final lap. He's been dramatic behind him but it's been cruise control for him. He wins in Imola. Max Verstappen couldn't convert the sprint. And Lewis Hamilton is going to recover from B3. Only just ahead of Alonso. And we're going to finish then. In basically stone dead last. So Mercedes have won it, and what a great race it was. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. That's been your Imola Grand Prix then won by George Russell fairly comfortably in the end. Albon retired and Latifi was miles behind because he did in the Latifi thing. I think he hit the back of his teammate when he retired or something like that. Just the Latifi thing. So we essentially finished last. Last anyway. But we still get to score this season. And we head to Monaco next where I'm looking at points. We've always gone well in Monaco. So that's something where we could possibly get our first points of the this, of this season. But let's see what happens. I can't is still not there there's still a lot of work to do but until that race in monaco hope you enjoyed this one very very dramatic and hopefully monaco might throw up another one but until then goodbye